Hello guys, welcome to Adek Yoba TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And also, drop a comment. Mapu Mapu. Ayuma. It might sound weird, but this is true. This man has spent 15 years in primary one. He has repeated several times that he doesn't even remember. Teachers said that it's impossible for him to graduate. Those who started school with him are now medical experts, pilots and teachers, like this teacher who studied with Joseph. She graduated, came to this school and became Joseph's teacher. Teachers insist that Joseph's poor performance might hinder him from graduation. But why did Joseph spend all these years in one class? How did he even make this possible? Due to spending many years in a single class, other students always bully and troll him saying his head is empty. They also say he's soon getting his pension because he's approaching the retirement age. The mother to Joseph says her boy's passion and zeal to learning is on another level. Joseph focuses and puts more effort in class, but all efforts never pay him back because at the end of the term he always come last and no one fights the last position with him. He's always guaranteed the last position. He has 21 years but no one believes he's that old. Due to his dwarfism he looks younger than that. Meet our friend Joseph. <laughs> He spent a lot of years in one class that some of his former classmates have graduated their universities and even started their professions, yet for him, he'll still in this class. We visited him at school and his class teacher tells us more of Joseph. <laughs> I'm a teacher at this school and I'm a class teacher to Joseph. He has studied at this school for a long period of time. I started teaching him since 2018. He tries being attentive in class but has a problem of forgetting. Whenever I'm teaching a new lesson, I make sure he sits with other smart children who also help him understand the new topic. But still, after a few minutes, he forget what he has learned. This teacher says that Joseph is always trolled by other students from upper classes who passed and left him in this class. They always call him old man and he's not happy with it. The teacher insists that she also studied with this man back in 2006. She finished primary, joined high school and graduated from high school and university, then became a teacher and found Joseph still studying here. She says according to how she sees Joseph, it's hard for him to graduate. Joseph explains what happens to him like this, that whenever the teacher is teaching in front of him, he's always lost in a daydream that makes him not pay maximum attention. Or even when he pays attention, those hallucinations make him forget what they have taught him, hence failing when given exams. This is the reason he's never promoted to the upper class. <laughs> They always troll and bully me saying I'm the old man. People keep discouraging me each and every day. Even some teachers who phone me at this school say that I'm soon getting my pension. They say I'm too old and soon reaching the retirement age. All that makes me think of dropping out. But then I remember I promised myself that I will do whatever it takes, then graduate. Maybe it will take too long, but I'm sure one day I'll wear a gown and make my parents proud. <laughs> I want to be a president after graduating. I'm confident enough that one day I'll be a president to this country. I have to work hard in class and learn more about politics so that I'll be a good leader. And I know that God will help me. Mm -hmm. 
koko abo abo biganu ngo abo biganye mbega bageze kureba bageze mu mashuri makuru babayo baba dogiteri Joseph is my second born my son's education story is quite unique but also sad he has spent 15 years in one class he started his education career at age 6 from there the rest was repeating he's now 21 and has repeated 15 times some of those who started with him became mayors others are ministers lawyers and other important people to the society but for him he'll see where they left him all this is caused by a mental illness he has that makes him forget everything at school teachers say that some students always bully and make fun of him saying he has a big but empty head and blah 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 but he tells me he'll keep pushing and keep fighting maybe one day he'll make it joseph always tells me that if he becomes smart in class he'll be a president i'm happy for him because he's not giving up he puts more effort but still becomes the last one in the whole class being the reason he can't be promoted with such a poor performance Despite the performance, the mother says that Joseph is a nice boy. He does everything and helps parents in some activities like fetching water every morning before he goes to school and other many more home activities. She again insists that forgetting makes his boy mess up things like when she sends him to the shop to buy sugar but the boy brings rice. In such a case, the mother has to go back to the shop which sometimes make her quarrel with shopkeepers. But many of the neighboring shopkeepers have got used to this. Whenever Joseph comes, they ask him twice, or even call the mother to make sure he's given what he came for. He forgets everything. I tell him, go buy this at the shop. He goes and brings what I did not mention. And I be like, why did you buy this? And he has a same old reply. I forgot and I thought this might help too. Sometimes I write everything down on a piece of paper and tell him to memorize what he's going to buy or else go with him at the shop. Joseph's mother is at least pleased with his boy's dedication, passion, zeal and hunger to learn despite his mental health disorders that make him forget what he has learned in class. <laughs> there is something special my boy has. He courageously puts all his efforts in learning. He cannot be late in class and you can't stop him from going to class. His class dedication is on another level. He attends class regularly despite those bullying him. At the end of the term, with all the efforts he put in, he handles me the school report card. But he's always below average and his last position never changes. But he has a strong mentality. He tells me he'll never give up no matter what. Year after year, others get promoted, and he repeats. Testing whether he really forgets, we asked some of recent lessons teacher taught him a few hours ago. And you can guess what happened next. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Adex Baba TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to 